This is the mock-up of a rotary screener for making topsoil. I'm going to put on the mini excavator. Just like the skeleton bucket, I'll use the same top tube cutting edge angled up a little bit. So when you have the screen horizontal, it'll keep everything in the screener here. I got some expanded wire, expanded metal. Then I'm going to put in these openings. Uh, the end plate here, I'm going to put a one inch shaft through it with a bearing mounted here and a sprocket coming up. There'll be two cross tubes. Probably use this two inch I got here. And uh, I'll set a hydraulic motor right here with a, another sprocket so I can change the gearing. On this. I got a pretty slow hydraulic motor. Uh, by the time I cut the speed down to half of what that puts out. And I'm going to have four wheels, one in each corner here, that are going to keep the front of the drum from walking around. The back will be held by the bearing. And uh, I just got to make a plate that's angled to the shape of the drum in the front here off this cutting edge and I'll have half inch side plates to tie everything in together and not sure about the coupler, I'll probably put it close to the front here like a normal bucket so that's where I'll need all the force up here at the cutting edge so I got the motor ordered surplus center and most of the other parts to to make this. I'll just need hoses and quick couplers to hook up to the auxiliary hydraulics on the machine. This drum is 24 inches long, 18 inches in diameter. Getting the screen put in the drum. Just tack welding it in there. I was going to make it bolt in with like uh, some band iron to hold it. But I figure I'll just weld it. It's a 9 gauge flattened expanded metal. These are three quarter inch holes I want them this way this is the way that it'll be spinning instead of the other way the other way I could have got a, a full piece in there but I have to cut a piece and put it in there 